so you know we are, we claim to be one of uh, india's largest uh, uh, rooftop uh, developers uh, with uh, over 85 megawatt uh, capacity and a 24% uh, market share uh, our business model is basically where we just seek uh, the roof or, or the spare ground available with our uh, industrial partners and provide them an option of uh, relatively cheaper source of power uh, and at no investment to them at all. We enter into a long-term power purchase agreement uh, and through that recover the investments. Uh, we've got presence uh, with, with uh, some of uh, the leading multinational companies operating in the country as well as uh, you know, some uh, local Indian uh, manufacturing uh, companies as well. To name a few, we've got Asahi Glass, we've got uh, General Electric, we've got the Mahindra Group, and Tata Motors, Thyssen Group, so on and so forth. Uh, the reason for us being uh, so successful is because of the uh, you know, flexibility that we offer in our uh, power purchase agreements. You know, base, uh, be the convenience uh, at the end of the day is what the, the customer is looking for, and we are out there to address any concern that they would have. And we've typically seen that, you know, it's, it's, it's the provision for termination which becomes a, a, a challenge, you know, you know, whether they want to get the solar power plant uh, or, you know, they want us to uh, take it back or take it out or move the power plant in case uh, they move their manufacturing setup. So that kind of flexibility is what, uh, you know, we've been able to uh, bring as a value add uh, on the table. Um, we've we've uh, been into this business since the year 2010-11, uh, and this was started by uh, stalwarts in the industry, uh, uh, you know, and they, they, they come from various uh, experienced uh, uh, manufacturing companies like uh, Thermax, Mahindra Solar, uh, you know, Bridge to India, uh, and my, myself, I'm, I'm coming from a German company called Linde. As I was mentioning, uh, this is a Bridge to India uh, report for uh, the year 2017. Uh, we've been number one with a 24% market share, and the number two, number three, is never been a, a, a single figure. You know, we've, we've been able to maintain the number one position over the last three years, and number two, number three has be, always been a, a different uh, developer, so to say. We've been recognized by MNRE. Uh, you know, here you can see our uh, managing director, Mr. Kuldeep Jain, on the left, and our chief operating officer, uh, Mr. Umakant uh, Shende, on the right. You know, re uh, receiving the uh, awards from MNRE. These are our, uh, uh, you know, privileged customers. Uh, we've got, you know, take a name, and it's it's out there. You know, we've uh, reached out to various uh, manufacturing uh, industries across uh, various sectors, so to say. Um, since we are developers, you know, uh, we invest uh, in the solar plant. Uh, so in order to make sure that we continue to uh, grow our business, we've recently got lines or investment from Bobak Pin Pincus uh, to the tune of almost uh, a million uh, US dollars and which we are utilizing to grow our business in the rooftop uh, segment. And also, of course, with the, uh, you know, the solar farms that, are, that is being developed in the state of Karnatak for now. Uh, as I said, we've got a pan-India presence. Um, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, NCR, uh, Chennai, and recently, uh, you know, in the Middle East, uh, UAE to be specific. This is our leadership team. Uh, you know, all of them are professionals. Uh, Kuldeep is an uh, ex-partner uh, uh, from McKenzie. Uh, I am Ahmedabad graduate, uh, chartered accountant, um, and you know the likes of Gajanan Nabar, who was with uh, Praj Industries as well as with Praxair India before uh, uh, joining uh, CleanMax. So, as I was mentioning about, you know our business model, you know, it's zero capex basically for uh, any industry who wants to adapt solar. 
it takes away the investment risks. It takes away the management uh, bandwidth. You know, in order to um, you know that would normally be taken into account uh, if if one is investing in their own uh, solar plant. So we just take away all of that. All you need to do is pay a monthly bill uh, that is lower, significantly lower uh, than what you pay to the grid uh, for the for the number of units that you consume through the solar plant. Uh, this is this is uh, uh, what I was just maintaining uh, mentioning about. Uh, not to mention, uh, not to forget about the sustainability and the uh, you know green initiative that it would uh, bring uh, onto uh, a manufacturing industry. You know, we 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 also build up the smart uh, uh, working systems. It's remotely monitored. Uh, it. Uh, it, 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 it can give you a real-time data about how the solar plant is performing and this would be at no additional cost you know so we take care of everything that uh, uh, goes into a, a solar plant safety which is uh, paramount here uh, in working on uh, rooftops uh, is also taken care of you know uh, by uh, the the uh, procedures and the learnings that we've had uh, from our experience with this uh, uh, in this business you know you can see that uh, we've got a, a safety line attached uh, uh, to the person you know this is a schematic representation of that and a real time picture of a uh, monkey ladder uh, with a cage uh, in order to prevent any uh, mishaps um, I've just briefly told you about uh, the business model. Uh, you know, we we'll, as developers would be responsible for the entire EPC of the project. Uh, we will operate and maintain the uh, uh, project, uh, I mean the plant, uh, and we'll supply the energy at a mutually agreed uh, tariff. All you need to do is uh, just uh, allow us to utilize your roof or spare uh, land available and uh, access to your facility for O&M purposes and uh, some water uh, for the cleaning of the solar panel. So that is b basically what we expect uh, from our uh, customers. I have certain technical lectures about you know, uh, the, the uh, equipment that goes into a solar plant. Uh, I'll pass uh, for uh, now in the interest of time. Uh, we can take uh, these questions uh, offline, but this is just to show you uh, we deal with uh, you know tier one suppliers uh, globally. Um, this is basically the uh, you know the remote monitoring system that we have, and uh, the data logging uh, uh, systems. I'll just briefly cover some uh, pictures, real time pictures of our projects. This is the uh, General Electric plant in Pune where uh, we have a non-penetrating structure so this uh, you know prevents any damage to the roof or any water ingress that uh, uh, is the normal risk that people have this is the asahi glass plant in chennai the mahindra mahindra uh, nasik uh, plant one where we've developed this uh, carport structure for them this is the uh, bangalore international airport uh, this is uh, Tata Motors Sanan, which is uh, about 30 kilometers away. And this is the uh, university, uh, Manipal University in uh, Jaipur. NBC bearings here in Gujarat. And that's about it. Uh, thank you. And I'll be happy to take questions uh, as we uh, progress further. <laughs>